Let me introduce you today to a different type of meditation with elementals and fantasy and creatures deep into your imagination. I want you obviously to have cleansed the room and make sure that there's no interference such as phones. Sit quietly with your back straight or lay down. Indulge yourself in this fantasy meditation. Imagine light all around you, a fantastic light that is protective and beautiful and divine. You're going to see a nature scene and we're moving into a forest. Some of the trees are huge and as you look at the base of the tree, the roots are gnarled and really move through the ground, surfacing in places. There are almost doorways into the trees. And yes, there are. And you know that these little doorways are not just for badgers and underground creatures, but they are also for our fae. As you move through the forest, it has a calm and cool feel. You breathe and relax. Magically around you, you have a cloak. Make it the colour that you want. This is a protective cloak and I want you to pull the hood up over your head. A fantastic forest scene awaits you. Some parts of the forest are quite dark. As you look through at the trees, you will really feel that there are creatures watching you. You are well protected by your cloak and you move swiftly through the forest to a clearing where you can sit on a fallen tree. So sit yourself down there and look intently into the scene that surrounds you. First, I want you to see a sprinkling of light, a light that seems that it highlights something in the darkened wood. This something is a creature that will come to you and guide you in the realms of Fae. Look carefully. It is a creature of beauty however it presents itself. Ask the creature why it's chosen you and what benefit is there for having it protect you. Now I want you to move around and look at some of the animals in the forest. What type of animals do we have here? There would be nothing like you have ever seen before. Look carefully and see what benefit there is with these animals. What do they do? How can they help you? Be guarded in your look now because we're looking for fey folk. I want you to scan and see what you see. They won't present themselves in a way that any other creature does. They can be mischief. You will reaffirm the light and cloak around and you'll send a mental message that you mean no harm and that really this is just a time of observation. One of the creatures will present itself at least but maybe more and sometimes you may see orbs of light or showers of gold. Look carefully, make a mental note of what you see Everything you see is of, of importance. Remember it all. Also, 
Take note of the scene that presents itself before you all, be it night or day. What's the weather conditioned in this magical place? Nothing will be the same as in the physical world. And everything that presents itself to you is of magic forms. Familiarise yourself with it all, witches because this is a realm we visit often and engage with in order to manifest our dreams. I leave you only for a moment in the forest. Pull up your cloak. Observe. I call you and ask you to walk with me back to where we began. I'm protecting you now, just against the little mischiefs and play that we might encounter. Move swiftly as if you're gliding to the place where you began. You'll notice a massive tree, the tree that I spoke about before, with the roots that really move up and down through the ground beneath it. Touch the tree, it has healing properties. Allow yourself to feel the strength and courage of this tree that has been there since the beginning of time. Make a mental note of what the tree looks like and feels like to touch. When you are ready, we're going to transport you back to physical world. Close your eyes. Keep your cloak wrapped up. Allow the light to swamp you. And when you're ready, you're back in the room and you can open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed the meditation today.